the unexpected coenzyme Q10 de depletion. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Digest the Reset. I'm Dr. Ina, functional medicine practitioner and a doctor of pharmacy with over 15 years of experience in functional medicine practice. Today, we are going to dive into a topic that's crucial for anyone interested in optimizing their health. Coenzyme Q10 or CoQ10 and how certain medications can deplete this vital nutrient. First, let's talk about what coenzyme Q10 is and why it's so important. Coenzyme Q10 is a powerful antioxidant that plays a key role in energy production within our cells. It's particularly concentrated in the heart, liver, and kidneys, which it, where it helps to generate adenosine triphosphate or ATP, if you remember that from your biology class, energy currency of our cells. This makes it essential, not just for energy, but also for maintaining cardiovascular health and overall vitality. Research has shown that, that CoQ10 can help with heart health, reduce oxidative stress, and even support cognitive function. But there's a catch. Certain medications can actually lower coenzyme Q10, which could potentially lead to a variety of health issues. Let's go through some of those most common medications that are known to deplete coenzyme Q10. Number one, statins. These cholesterol-lowering medications are among the biggest culprit studies have shown that statins can reduce coenzyme Q10 levels by as much as 40% in some patients. This can lead to muscle pain and fatigue, common side effects of statin therapy. Number two, beta blockers. Often prescribed for high blood pressure and heart issues, beta blockers can also interfere with coenzyme Q10 synthesis. Number three, antidepressants. Some classes of antidepressants like SSRIs may affect coenzyme Q10 levels, contributing to fatigue and lack of energy. Number four, diuretics. These medications can lead to loss of not just water and electrolytes, but also nutrients like coenzyme Q10. Chemotherapy drugs, certain chemotherapy agents can significantly deplete coenzyme Q10, impacting the body's ability to repair and regenerate. And number six, GLP-1 agonist, azampic, semaglutide, and metformin, the drug that's now given right after uh, semaglutide, and that can modestly deplete coenzyme Q10, leaving you fatigued and <laughs> stressed why it's happening. So what are the symptoms of coenzyme Q10 deficiency? Um, you could expect something like fatigue and muscle weakness and even incre increased risk of cardiovascular issues. If you're on any of these medications and noticing these effects, side effects, symptoms, it's crucial to discuss that with your healthcare provider. Now, how can you boost coenzyme Q10 levels practically? Here are some practical tips. Diet. Incorporate foods rich in coenzyme Q10, such as fatty fish, organ meats, whole grains, and nuts. Supplementation. If you're on medication that depletes coenzyme Q10, consider discussing supplementation with your healthcare provider. High quality coenzyme Q10 supplements can be beneficial, especially in those on statin therapy. Lifestyle changes, regular exercise, balanced diet, and stress management can all support healthy coenzyme Q10 levels. In conclusion, coenzyme Q10 is essential for our health, especially if you're taking medications that deplete it. Understanding the link between your medication and nutrient levels is a vital step toward achieving optimal health. As always, make sure to consult with your healthcare provider before making any changes to your treatment plan or studying new supplementation. Thank you for joining me today. 
If you found this information helpful, please give us thumbs up, subscribe, and share this video with others who might benefit. Until next time, Dr. Ina with you, stay healthy and vibrant. Thank you.